Taliban warns India against military presence in Afghanistan, Mohammad Suhail Shaheen, in an exclusive interview with news agency ANI, discussed the Taliban's outlook towards neighboring countries like India. Afghanistan's second largest capital, Kandahar, fell to the Taliban on Friday. Closing in on Kabul, the terrorist group has managed to take over large swathes of territory, including the crucial provincial capitals of Herat and Lashkargah. As threat looms large on Kabul, Taliban spokesperson Mohammad Suhail Shaheen, in an exclusive interview with news agency ANI, discussed the Taliban's outlook towards neighboring countries like India, its relations with Pakistan-based terror groups, and recent attacks on religious minorities such as the Sikh community in the war-torn nation. On being asked if the Taliban can assure India that Afghan soil will not be used against it, the spokesperson claimed that the group's policy was to refrain from using its soil against any country, including its neighbors. There is no danger from our side to embassies and diplomats. We won't target any embassy or diplomat. We've said that in our statements many times. It is our commitment. We have a general policy that we're committed not to allow anyone to use Afghan soil against any country including the neighboring countries, said Mohammad Suhail Shaheen. However, he also addressed India's support to the Afghanistan security forces warning that the fate of military presence in Afghanistan was an open book for everyone to see. If the India come to Afghanistan militarily and have presence there, I think that will not be good for them. They've seen the fate of military presence in Afghanistan of other countries, so it is an open book for them, he said.